is News 3 Now at 10. Thanks for joining us tonight. First at 10, we are expecting more accumulating snow tomorrow. Expecting that to start in the afternoon and then continue overnight. Let's go right to meteorologist Dana Fulton. She's in the Weather Center with our first warm forecast. Dana? We have alert days in the forecast for tomorrow night and into Sunday morning. This snow will start in the late afternoon for the very southwest corner of the state and then continue through the evening and continue overnight. Anywhere from 3 to 6 inches expected overnight into Saturday morning. And then for early Sunday, we'll still have light snow coming down. That won't taper to flurries until mid morning. So right now our weather advisory and warning map looks uh, a little cluttered. This purple color is our winter weather advisory stretching north of Dane County. These go into effect late tomorrow lasting through Sunday. Then the pink winter storm warnings for Rock County, Green County, Grant County included in that areas where we're likely going to see the snow start earlier and see higher accumulation totals as this starts to leave the area on Sunday. Right now radar is quiet though. We'll stay quiet overnight and as we head into tomorrow, tomorrow We'll start off with mostly cloudy skies before the snow builds in later in the day. Temperatures will drop to about 20, so certainly not as cold outside. And then once we get into Sunday, Saturday night, the snow again staying with us into early Sunday. But we will take a closer look at timing and some accumulation maps in just a little bit, Eric. All right, Dana, thank you. And several communities have already declared snow emergencies ahead of the storm. Here's the list so far. Blue Mounds, Marshall, McFarland, Partyville, Sun Prairie. For specifics on each snow emergency, you can head to channel3000.com. And if you're away from your television tomorrow, for all of your local weather information and forecasts on the go, just download our free Channel 3000 weather app. Wisconsin's second phase of coronavirus vaccines might not begin for another month, but this week, phase 1B was solidified. Tonight, Adam Duxter took a ride with one of the Madisonians who is next in line. A love for being behind the wheel. I love meeting the people. I get to learn all the routes. Is what has brought Elvis Green back to his Metro bus each day for the last 24 years. It's very rewarding for me because, you know, I get to do what I love to do, which is drive. During that time, he's gotten used to the challenges. It looks like there's a lot of buttons, but I mean, it's very easy. But coronavirus has proven to be a harder challenge to live with. Every day you come to work, you don't know what's going to change. Am I doing enough? You know, uh, what can I do differently? You know, or what can I do to make sure that I'm safe uh, well, and keep you safe? A plastic divider now separates Green from the customers he's come to know like family. And the smile his passengers are used to seeing is now covered by multiple layers of mask. And Green says it's because he's seen the damage COVID can do firsthand. I've had relatives that's had COVID, uh, had some friends that passed away from COVID, so it really scares me. I, every time I hear a story about somebody else passing, I try to see what I can do uh, better or differently. This week, Green and other Metro Transit drivers found out they're next in line for the vaccine, included in Wisconsin's 1B category. And while he won't stop driving in the meantime. A lot of the people depend on us, so my family understands that this is the job I do. Green says he sees getting the shot as just the next step he can take to keep his family and passengers safe. If it takes for me to get the vaccine, to, to protect them, I'm willing to, I'm willing to give it a try. And keep him behind the wheel for years to come. In Madison, Adam Duxter, News 3 Now. Green says more than anything, he's hopeful his son will have an opportunity to graduate and walk across the stage this spring in person. The Wisconsin DHS reporting an increase of more than 1,500 cases, 49 additional deaths over the past day. Both of those are up compared to the seven-day average. 35,000 people were vaccinated around the state, though, yesterday. 1.6% of the state's population has now received both doses of the vaccine. And Johnson & Johnson has released the results of its Phase 3 COVID-19 vaccine trial and plans to seek emergency use authorization by the Food and Drug Administration. Results demonstrated 85% protection against severe coronavirus disease in adults of all ages and racial groups 28 days after vaccination. The overall effectiveness rate for preventing moderate to severe illness was 72% in the U.S., 66% across all countries studied. Results also showed protection against multiple emerging virus variants, including the strain recently discovered in South Africa, which has also been detected now in the U.S. Benefits to the Johnson Johnson vaccine include that it only requires one dose, as opposed to Moderna and Pfizer's two-dose and 
inoculations and that it can also be stored in a regular refrigerator. Johnson & Johnson's data still needs to undergo review by the FDA. The U.S. government has pre-ordered about 100 million doses, but Johnson & Johnson only expects to have uh, fewer than 10 million doses available for the month of February. This week marks one year since UW Health saw the first COVID-19 case here in Wisconsin. They say there are thousands of unsung healthcare heroes, but the infection control practitioners play one of the most central and critical roles. And today, UW Health is recognizing their efforts and strong partnership in response to the pandemic since day one. What I see our main role as um, the really the link or the connection between public health, the guidance that they put out, and our frontline staff. So what we do is we monitor and review that guidance coming in from both CDC, um, Wisconsin Department of Health Services, local public health, and we uh, keep up to date on it and adapt it for our organization. A year ago, UW Health's infection prevention team started planning for the arrival of COVID-19 before it had emerged in most of the U.S. The UW Health says the uh, department central to creating a safe and healthy environment for patients and employees. UW System offering a $500 tuition credit to students who work at COVID vaccination sites. Now to qualify, students must be enrolled in a nursing or pharmacy program at a UW System campus during the spring 2021 semester. They have to work a minimum of 16 hours or two days a week as a COVID vaccination and they need a professional nursing license with authorization to provide vaccines. And now public health officials are suggesting people wear two masks as a way to increase protection from the coronavirus and its multiple more contagious variants. Studies show homemade two and three ply masks are in the 50 to 60% range of effectiveness. Experts say adding a surgical mask under a cloth mask is 90% effective at blocking particles. President Biden toured a vaccination center during his visit to Walter Reed Medical Center today. Inside a gymnasium, the president got a firsthand look at how personnel are getting vaccinated. He walked around stations set up for different parts of the vaccination process. President Biden briefly chatted with people along the way and thanked them for their work, and the president also met with wounded service members during that visit. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has formally extended the eviction moratorium now through March 31st. It was initially set to expire this weekend. The CDC director says he signed the extension because evicting tenants who were unable to pay rent would be, quote, detrimental in slowing the spread of the virus. Next at 10, the Rock County Medical Examiner's Department has identified the woman who was found dead in Janesville earlier this week. She is 25-year-old Haley Jarrett of Janesville. She was originally reported as missing. According to a news release, a snow crew called authorities roughly three hours later after finding her body on Woodman Drive. The medical examiner says preliminary results of the autopsy are pending further investigation, but original reports from police said there were no indications of any foul play or public safety concerns. The Madison Police Department has released new video of an attempted homicide. This was a year ago, and they're hoping to breathe some new life into the unsolved case. It happened January 29th of 2020. A mother and two young children were driving on Dahl Street. This was on the city's north side when a man got out of a car that had been following them and shot multiple rounds into their vehicle. The woman and one of the children were hurt, but they did survive. And these are the new photos released today by police, hoping to identify the two people. If anyone has information that will lead to finding those involved, you're to call the Madison Police Department Violent Crimes Unit, or you can also call Madison Area Crime Stoppers and remain anonymous. Leadership at the top of Madison's Police Department changes over on Monday. Dr. Sean Barnes will be sworn in. Interim Chief Vic Wall steps aside from a job he thought would last just six months, not 16. When he took the job, he says he had no idea what 2020 would bring. First, the start of a worldwide pandemic, then the social justice protests resulting from the killings of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor, and then the shooting of Jacob Blake in Kenosha. Chief Wall says during the summer, there were more than 180 straight days of some kind of protest in the city of Madison. Uh, you know, being out there enduring that sort of verbal anger, verbal hostility, physical risk from people throwing things at them from fires, and then all in the midst of a pandemic. So what we asked of our cops to do uh, and the way they perform is really remarkable. And, and I think it's a real credit to the dedication and professionalism of our officers. That Wall is proud of the work done during his time as chief, staying true to the organization he believes MPD is.
He says the department weathered the storm and is hopefully coming out on the other side very soon. The UW Madison police chief has banned officers from using thin blue line imagery while on duty. That image considered a sign of police solidarity, but it has taken a political turn recently. Chief Kristen Roman says the flag has been co-opted by extremists with hateful ideolo ideologies and that her department needs to distance itself from that imagery. The FBI says the two pipe bombs that were found near the Democratic and Republican Party headquarters in Washington on January 6th were planted the night before the insurrection at the Capitol. Federal authorities again increased the reward for information to $100,000. A new wanted poster says the bombs were placed between 7.30 and 8.30 p.m. on January 5th. More to come tonight at 10. A look at your full weekend forecast, including when we can expect to see that snow start falling tomorrow. But first, just ahead of the Super Bowl, uh, you can get a taste of what Madison has to offer for the big game. It's just ahead. Stay with us. I'm your new co-pilot, Camry. Let's show the road what we've got. Snowy streets, we're coming for you. Icy grip, we're holding tight. Wintry mix, eh, safety's the name of our game. Steady, Camry all-wheel drive. Right now, you can get 0.9% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2021 Toyota Camry. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Happy Rubin wants to wish you a happy new year. This January, Rubens has received new and exciting furniture from all over the world. Stop in for a look at our new marble table or sink into a soft Danish designed leather sofa. Rubens stores have hundreds of items for immediate delivery. Why wait? It's time to brighten up your home. Days are getting longer and spring will be here in a few short months. Come visit us at our downtown or west side store today. All of us at Rubens wish you a happy and healthy new year. When you're the victim of an accident, it can feel like the weight of the entire world is on your shoulders. Why not let us take that crippling burden off your back? Habish, Habish and Rotier. We fight for what's right. How we doing? Fabulous. firm's doing without its peerless leader. Are you sure you want to leave that all behind? Yeah. Stay restless with the icon that does the same. The RX, crafted by Lexus. Lease the 2021 RX 350 all-wheel drive for $4.29 a month for 36 months. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Accurate news as it happens. We need more vaccine to be allocated to our state. Right here, where you live. In 2022, we should hopefully have a new and improved beltline. Information that you can use. Water backup is not part of the standard homeowner's insurance coverage. From the team you can trust. This bomb was placed in a way that really could have hurt people. For more local stories that impact your life, News 3 Now. Waking up to stuff like this should never be a surprise. Watch News 3 Now First Warm Weather so you always know what's headed our way. It has been a wild week on Wall Street. A frenzy of new buyers have shaken the market to its core. Saturday morning, how Congress plans to get involved. An update on the snow as well. Join us Saturday morning at 5 and 8. Watching News 3 Now at 10. Welcome back. Samsung has officially released the newest smartphone in its popular Galaxy S series. The tech giant calling the Galaxy S21 Ultra the best Galaxy performance in a smartphone yet. It has the most advanced camera system, the brightest and smartest display in a Galaxy. It's also the largest of the series with a 6.8 inch display. The smartphone comes in two colors, Phantom Black and Phantom Silver. Prices start at $1,200. Lowe's plans to hire more than 50,000 new employees ahead of the spring rush and award $80 million in bonus is the current workers. This will be the seventh bonus that Lowe's has given hourly employees during the pandemic. Hourly associates at stores, distribution centers, and call centers will receive the bonus early next month.
month. Full-time hourly associates will get $300. Part-time and seasonal associates will get $150. Starbucks looking to beef up its drive through service. Company executives talked about their plans during an earnings call earlier this week. The company's COO called drive through locations their most productive model right now. Starbucks now expects to increase the number of drive through locations they have in parts of the country this year, as well as tech improvements at those locations. Two women in California have filed a lawsuit against Subway, claiming that the sandwich chain's tuna is not actual tuna. They note in their complaint that the fish is marketed as a premium product Subway uses in its sandwiches and wraps, but the women say independent tests could not find any tuna in it. According to the Washington Post, a Subway representative said the lawsuit has no merit and that its tuna is not only real, but it is wild caught. Champagne, a symbol of celebration, and the pandemic seems to have given us less reason to do just that. The final numbers for 2020 haven't been tallied just yet, but one industry group estimates champagne sales took a worldwide hit, with sales falling as much as $1.2 billion last year. There was an 18% drop in volume as well. Producers blame the closures of restaurants and bars, as well as the cancellations of parties and big events. Here's something to celebrate just in time for the Super Bowl. Dozens of local restaurants are sparring for Matt Madison's King Wing Crown. Eat Street kicking off Wing Week from now through Super Bowl Sunday. The city's best beer battered and breaded meats are in the spotlight for bragging rights, but the competition also supports an effort to tackle food insecurity in Madison called Cook It Forward. Each of those orders will push a dollar towards Cook It Forward, will help the people that live here in our community. Um, during a time where everything is so uncertain. Eat Street's offering free delivery for all restaurants participating in Wing Week. Customers will vote on their favorite, and the winner will be announced on Sunday, February 7th. All right, got a busy weekend ahead for us in the weather department. Some alert days to cover some weather advisories. Here's meteorologist Dana Fulton. Dana? A lot going on for us over the next few days. Again, we do have winter weather advisories in effect for Dane County stretching north. And then to the south, winter storm warnings, that bright pink color for our southern counties along the Illinois line into northern Illinois and Iowa, where we're expecting that snow to come down a a little heavier, lead to higher accumulation totals, and also start just a, a little earlier in the evening on Saturday. Right now, though, radar is quiet. We had some light flurries north of Dane County a few hours ago, but nothing that led to any accumulation. We'll stay mostly cloudy overnight, and as we head into tomorrow morning, it's not until late in the evening that this system really builds in. As we look ahead to our, our next 24 hours, kind of fast forwarding a little bit, you can see that light snow starting to creep in, moderate snow expected overnight, and it just continues to add up as we head into Sunday morning. And it's not just for us. This does stretch down into northern Illinois, northern Indiana areas well to the south, central southern Illinois, into parts of Tennessee and Kentucky. They'll be dealing with heavy rain and even the possibility for some thunderstorms. Not expecting to see any snow accumulating out there. We're mostly cloudy tonight. Temperatures will be saying the 20s for our overnight lows, so certainly not nearly as cold for our overnight temperatures. We're cloudy through the day tomorrow, but this is looking ahead to uh, about 3, 4, 5 o'clock. Light snows starts first in the southwest corner of the state and then just continues to build northeast, becoming more moderate, a little heavier throughout the evening. So any early evening plans might want to try to keep those indoors, try to stay off the roads because once the snow does build in, we're concerned about visibility reducing quickly and our road conditions reducing quite a bit because it will be a little breezy, a little windy outside later in the day. So blowing and drifting snow will be a concern for us late Saturday. The scene continues on overnight early Sunday morning. We're still seeing snowfall. In fact, even around 7, 8 o'clock, that snow is still light light enough that uh, we'll have a few isolated areas picking up a little more accumulation. One to two inches still possible early Sunday morning before this completely tapers off to flurries and we're left with mostly cloudy skies later in the afternoon and the snow completely does clear up. So accumulation totals for us. We have a band stretching through south central Wisconsin. That three to six inch range includes areas north of Madison. You have to go well north of the Dells before we see those totals really start to trend lower in the one to three inch range. But right along the state line, we're looking at anywhere from six to nine inches. Definitely could see some isolated areas picking up a little bit more. So it is going to be one of those evenings. It would be a great idea to stay inside for Saturday and any plans early Sunday morning. You want to give yourself plenty of time on the roads. Make sure you have the car cleaned off before you head out because this is going to have some pretty major impacts to our driving conditions. As far as walking, not too concerned about the ice, but of course we'll have to wait to get all the sidewalks cleared up and it is going to take a little bit of a clearing effort as accumulation totals are going to add up overnight and we do still have that chance on 
on Sunday early in the day to pick up another one to two inches early on. So uh, a quick cleanup might not be a good idea early. Might want to wait till mid late morning before we get things really cleaned up for us. Cloudy, windy tomorrow with the snow really building in later in the day. Temperatures will be close to freezing and then a quick look at this 8 to 14 day outlook. Very likely that we continue on with this active pattern as we have more moisture expected to build in. That lines up with another system that we're expecting towards the end of the week. Alert days again for late Saturday and Sunday. We have a few days of some sunshine Monday and Tuesday with temperatures in the 20s. A little more of an opportunity for that uh, next system to build in by the end of the week that could bring some mix for us on Thursday and more snow chances on Friday. Behind that system, it gets quite cold outside. Overnight lows dropping back to the single digits and we could be back below zero again as we look ahead to next weekend. All right, Dana, we'll brace ourselves. Thank you. Just ahead in sports, the Badger men lit the lamp not even a minute in. What they did to Michigan State for the first time in 41 years. That's next in sports with Zach. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. When you pay extra for a turbocharged engine, you might feel the need to show it off. But if it comes standard, you might not. Quick call or come by your Volkswagen dealer today and lease the sporty, driver-inspired 2021 Jetta S for just $199 a month. Culver's is a family restaurant. To me, that means being the place that puts a smile on everyone's face. We're famous for our cooked-to-order butter burgers and frozen custard made daily inside our restaurants. But we've always believed more menu options mean more ways to brighten your day. We source the finest chicken to bring you our tenders and chicken sandwiches. And our cheese curds. They're a Wisconsin tradition we're proud to share with you. So take the next meal shift off and let us take care of you. Welcome to Delicious. Imagine facing Wisconsin's bitter cold winter without a warm home or the blistering heat of summer without power. Then having to make the tough choice between eating or meeting other basic survival needs. Unfortunately, over 200,000 of our neighbors in need will face this difficult decision with no place else to turn, including those who are now unemployed due to the COVID-19 crisis. Keep a neighbor in crisis safely in their home during these difficult times by supporting and donating to the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund today. than low prices? Then get more ways to save at Pick and Save, where you can find personalized coupons, weekly deals, and rewards like fuel points. All for prices that are lower than low. On food that's fresher than fresh. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Did you know that 178 million Americans are missing at least one tooth? It's true. That's why at Affordable Dentures and Implants, we only focus on tooth replacement solutions. Whether it's a single tooth, full dentures, or dental implants, we have an experienced dentist who can create a new smile just for you. At a price that's affordable. Because at Affordable Dentures and Implants, we want you to go, go ahead, ahead and, and smile. smile. You make plans. What to wear, where to go, when to go, what to bring. And then the weather changes everything. Let News 3 Now First Warn Weather prepare you for what's coming. First, fast, and accurately so you can plan your life. Get more local news now with Channel 3000 Plus, our free digital streaming service that brings you area news and info 24-7 from the News 3 Now team. Channel 3000 Plus. Download it today and watch from your streaming media player or mobile device. Your family has a wide range of personalities, and so does ours. Meet the Volkswagen family of SUVs. Click, call, or come by your Volkswagen dealer today and lease a spacious and refined 2021 Atlas SE Tech 4 Motion for just 439 a month. With a skate with number one Minnesota looming next weekend, all week long, Tony Granato emphasized that his team wasn't overlooking their series against Michigan State, who's last place in the Big Ten. 
And it's safe to say the Badgers were dialed in for game one of their series after Cole Caulfield took a shot. Badgers on the power play, and guess who? Caulfield fires one into the back of the net to give UW the lead 54 seconds into the game. Caulfield finished with two goals tonight, but they were not done. Later in the first, well, I guess you just saw, that was Dylan Holloway lighting the lamp. He also scored two. Badgers scored three goals in the first and go on to win. Six nothing is your final. Age is just a number for Joe Pavelski. The 36-year-old has been on a tear to start the season for the Stars. In four games, Pavelski has four goals and five assists. Dallas has four wins. The former Badger leads the team with nine points. That's third best in the NHL. And after a red-hot postseason in 2020, it feels like Pavelski has carried that momentum on into this season. Definitely coming back, uh, you know, during the bubble. It was something that got off to a good start and worked on a few things, but it was uh, whether I'm more comfortable the second time around. Um, it's it's hard to say exactly, but I definitely have some confidence. I definitely have an idea of what we're trying to do out there, and things are clicking right now. Bucks taking on the Pelicans in the Big Easy, and this game was anything but for Milwaukee. They trailed from the start. Giannis, though, trying to bring them back. He knocks down the jump, jumper for two of his game-high 38 points. But it wouldn't be enough because the Pelicans made a season-high 21 three-pointers. Lonzo Ball had seven of those makes. Bucks fall 131 to 126. After three seasons in Green Bay, the Packers and Mike Pettin have parted ways. After finishing outside the top 10 in total defense in 2018 and 19, the Packers improved slightly on that side of the ball, but it wasn't enough for Matt LaFleur to re-sign as defensive coordinator. The search for a new DC is on in title town. The top-ranked Wisconsin volleyball team made quick work of Illinois this afternoon. The Badgers took the match in straight sets to improve to 3-0 on the year. The two will play again tomorrow at 11 a.m. And baby Bessie officially has a name. The first calf of forward Madison will now be called Rose Cowbell after former Badger and World Cup winner Rose Lavelle. The Mingos kick off their season in May. We're back after this. The forecast calls for a messy commute. The Ford lineup helps keep you in command. Intelligent four-wheel drive monitors traction, and a terrain management system adapts to road conditions at the turn of a knob. So you're ready to take on the elements with confidence. Power through the storm in a new Ford Explorer. Now with 0% financing for 72 months, plus 4,250 bonus cash. See your Wisconsin dealer today. My mom was a bank teller but her hands were so crippled by arthritis she could no longer do her job. She applied for Social Security disability benefits. Like most people, my mom was denied. I'm attorney Don Becker. Don't be embarrassed and don't give up. My mom appealed, you can too. Disability law is all we do. Call the Becker Law Office, 1-800-254-7766. At U.S. Cellular, we're building a powerful 5G network that works without interruption in the places you wouldn't expect. And with every plan at U.S. Cellular, you get access to 5G at no additional charge. So no matter where you are, U.S. Cellular's network always keeps you connected in the places you need it most. At U.S. Cellular, all of our plans include 5G and get unlimited data for just $30 a month with four lines. U.S. Cellular. Find your style and save big money on Patriot Lighting at Menards. The Menards Lighting Showroom is filled with all of the latest lighting collections from Patriot Lighting. The Samuel Collection comes in a bold bronze finish with clear glass shades for maximum glow. These lights come with vintage style bulbs to complete the industrial feel. Right now, get this Samuel chandelier for only $149.99. Save on Patriot Lighting now during Menards Home Improvement Sale. Save big money at Menards. When we hear a big storm's headed our way, some of us fall back into bed, some into fresh powder. Spending your day indoors or out, it's all about knowing what to expect. 
Watch News 3 Now for an accurate first warn forecast so you can plan your perfect day. Ghost stories. Sleeping in. Afternoon naps. Some things are just better with a toasty, warm blanket. That's why News 3 Now and St. Vincent de Paul are collecting new and gently used blankets for our neighbors in need. Please drop them off at a Dane County St. Vincent de Paul store or participating area churches the last weekend of January. Or donate new blankets online at svdpmadison.org. Download the Channel 3000 app today. Watching News 3 Now at 10. Finally, tonight, one year ago tomorrow, marks the day UW Hospital treated a patient experiencing symptoms of a new virus. Testing later showed that patient was the first reported case of COVID-19 in Wisconsin. News 3 Now is looking back on this past year with some of the key figures from our coverage. Madison Mayor Satya Rhodes-Conway, Dane County Executive Joe Parisi, Public Health Director Janelle Heinrich, and UW Health Dr. Nazia Safter share reflections on the first weeks of the pandemic as they answer the question of if they would have done anything differently and what they hope this next year brings. In, in either late February or early March, um, when I started realizing that this was not just something that was happening in other countries, right? That this was going to be something that was really going to impact us and that we were going to start to have to think about um, city functions and events. Again, we'll have those stories this weekend. You can watch it right here on News 3. Now, another thing to watch over the weekend is the weather, and Dana has the latest. We do have alert days in the forecast for Saturday and Sunday. Winter weather advisories and warnings already issued for late Saturday as the snow builds in. It's likely going to pick up pretty quickly and stay moderate overnight. We saw light snow for early Sunday with those accumulation totals right around 3 to 6 inches for Dane County, but areas south and that 6 to 9 inch range, uh, parts of Rock, and, uh, Rock County and Green County could easily pick up a little bit more than that close to the Illinois state line. Now, we'll have partly sunny skies to start off the work week. We get a little bit of sunshine in before our next system builds in, bringing the chance for snow possibly mixed with some rain in the afternoon on Thursday. That can make things a little messy behind that system. It gets cold outside. Overnight lows back in the single digits, likely dropping below zero again, looking ahead to next week. So very active pattern for us in that 10 day. A lot of things that we'll be keeping an eye on. All right, of course, stay with it through the app, both online and on air. We'll keep you posted all weekend. Have a great one. Thanks for joining us.